So now I've brought the chilies from the house where I've been growing them since last October, October, November. Uh, they've been up and down. They've been eaten with aphids, brought them up too early, got hit with a frost. Some didn't grow, but this is what I got left out of about 63 varieties, I think. So I don't know which they all are because they're all numbered. See? So they're in my book, which is... So, oh. so this is my uh, list of uh, all the chilies that I planted up to there, uh, and all the black ticks are the ones that have survived. Mm. So, for one reason or another, uh, uh, the other ones didn't. Uh, and there's a few that I'm really sick about because. They were really good, like the uh, Fatali Brown, the, my uh, Naga Maurice, uh, Scotch Bonnet Jamaican Trinidad Fatali Maruga, <laughs> <laughs> all that. And um, I'm very pleased that I've got the uh, the Moor Red, because that's the uh, Jamaican pure breed mm. of the Scotch Bonnet. Um, the War Tricks, which I've been wanting to grow for ages. Uh, the Barrack Poor Seven Pot. Um, very nice. Hurtbury, one of the hottest in the world. My Dorset Naga, that didn't grow. My Chocolate Boot Jalokia did. I think it's that one, I think. What number is it? Or is it that one? 16. Let's take a look at uh, all of yeah. the, the chilies. Yeah, so they've all got a number. Oh, they have, um... Yeah, some have got pictures. Ah. That is, um... Habanero, Hab isn't it? Yeah, Habanero. Ah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, some of the pictures, I got those from uh, B&Q, actually. Um, this one, 21, I think is my, um... Fatale, 21... Oh no, that's that's my hurtberry. Oh, very nice. So, um, hottest in the world. Huh? Hottest in the world. It's nearly very very hot. Uh, this one I know is my um, uh, that's my chocolate bootler. Chocolate bootler. That one. Wow. Chocolate bootler, and I've just trimmed the leaves by 90% so that the plant thinks that it's been nibbled by a snail or an animal. So now it's going to regenerate itself and I'll get more shoots and more things later. But I've got to do it now, otherwise it's going to get too late. Mm. You know, I've done the same here with my, uh, I didn't know that one, 27. Oh, another very hot one, a purple boot jalokia, wow. which is... Um, it is the ghost pepper, which is that one, mm -hmm. but this is the purple, oh. these two. Oh, and what I've done, um, I've got two very nice plants from, from them. Uh, so I've left one exactly as it is. And I've taken a few of the flowers off here, reduced the leaf by 90%. So I've give that a good trim, took off the bottom leaves, and I'm now going to compare the yield. Ah. That's the plan. Nice. Uh, but they were both virtually the same plants. Oh. And um, so I'm now going to just going to make a separate list of all the ones that have survived, and then um, I'm very happy about my uh, hot scotch which looks an amazing plant. Uh, what was the other one? Paper Lantern. Mm. Uh, not many people have heard of these. But um, 
I wish all of them grew, mm -hmm. really. The Seven Pot Katie is the hottest English variety at 1.8 million Scovilles. And I've tried for two years on the trot and I cannot germinate one seed. <laughs> Won't have it. Yeah. So, um, this, I'm going to get a good crop anyway. <laughs> As I say, I did go. Uh, a friend of mine, a, a, a work colleague, went to Thailand and actually brought back the original Thai super hots. Mm. which I have growing. And um, a chocolate naga, you see? Wow. Some of them are really small. Yeah, th those are just um, like little runts, mm. if you will. Um, but they've started to pick up, and I call these my Nepalese cherry bomb. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they just haven't grown all year, and then they suddenly just made a show. So, so, so now that I've put them in, into their own pots, some are just uh, bottle crates with um, black bin liners. Uh, as you fill them up with uh, the compost, it's a marvellous pan pot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, now, now that they're going to the final position, um, I will be spacing them out when I get rid of the stuff. But, um, yeah, they've all, you know, the leaves really perked up. Every time I water now, you're going to get food going down to them. And um, I'll give them a liquid feed now every 10 days or two weeks. But these have got lots of room. But people plant them too close. And when they grow, they do this. Like that. So if you imagine this one doing the same. By the time it gets to here, they're touching. Mm. And they've still got this to go yet. Yeah. Yeah, and what happens is they they fight each other for the for the space and the light, and you end up with a huge canopy, um, and all the energy is not going; it's going to the canopy and not producing fruit. Mm. So when when they start about uh, middle of September, I'll then cut all the flowers off and and stop it growing. And so that the plant can concentrate on on the chilies. Oh. So that's the idea. And there's just chilies all over the place. But once they once they start taking off, you see, if you look at that one there, this was an ex world champion. Oh, yeah, boot jalokia. It's the boot the boot jalokia, oh. um, known as the ghost pepper. Mm. 1.4, 1.5 million Scovilles. It's very, very hot. <laughs> yeah. And then as as more and more chilies got developed and crossbred, they get hotter and hotter. And now you've got the um, the Carolina Reaper mm -hmm. at uh, 2.2 million. Some of the pods, very hot. <laughs> Average about... 1.8, 1 1.9. Mm -hmm. Very hot. But there are chilies that have a more intense burn, which is that uh, chocolate. Okay, so if you've enjoyed the videos, uh, subscribe and 